Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you five tips that you can use in your street photography to create a sense of mystery, intrigue, and curiosity in your viewers. The tips I'm gonna be giving you uh, are things that I use in my own street photography a lot, and they're different techniques that um, I think create really effective images that leave the viewer guessing, and it's the kind of street photography that I really like to make. If you like this video, then please do click the thumbs up button. Um, and if you like the other videos on my channel, then please go ahead and subscribe for more content like this in the future. So let's just get right into it. So my tip number one is taking photographs through texture glass. Taking images through a surface such as frosted glass can have a really great effect in adding abstraction to an image, especially like here in the UK as we're coming into the colder months now, when shop and bus windows and things like that get fogged up with condensation when it's cold and rainy out. It can lead to not only nice effects and colours, but also obscured elements of your photograph, uh, making the viewer work to really process what's going on. So the more you can obscure from a viewer while still showing recognisable elements like a face or a part of a body, um, then the more interesting and layered your image will be. So tip number two is using light and shadow to hide and reveal parts of your image. So when the conditions are right, using light and harsh shadows can be a really great way to create mystery in your work. Silhouettes have become really popular in recent years in street photography, um, but when they're done right, they can be really effective. They can tell a story and they can play on the curiosity of the viewer as well. So tip number three is that parts can be more interesting than the whole. Interesting and creative photography doesn't spoon feed the viewer. You know, you don't give it all on the plate, show exactly everything that's going on. Um, having something happening outside of the frame, but alluding to it in your image, or maybe photographing subjects looking at something that the viewer can't see, can be a really great way to trigger curiosity in the viewer. Focusing on something the viewer can't really see sort of makes it more intriguing while they figure out what's kind of going on or might be going on in the image and then they might even portray their own story onto the image, which just kind of gives that deeper connection with the viewer to the photograph. So you can think about, you know, if you're showing everything in a photograph, where's the surprise? Um, what is it that you're asking the viewer to think about? So tip number four is going out to take photographs at night time. Uh, night street photography is one of my favorite things to do. I absolutely love it. Um, especially now as we're coming into the colder months, the nights are longer, gets darker earlier. Gives more opportunities to go out and take street photographs in the night time. Taking street photographs at night can definitely be challenging. You know, you've got less light to work with, but it can give you more opportunities to obscure parts of your image or use bright colorful light sources to illuminate your subjects in an engaging way without showing the whole picture. Find a way to incorporate the human element into those um, scenes and that can then really create more abstraction more intrigue, more interest, that ultimately makes for really mysterious images. And the final tip, tip number five, is to show people, but don't show people. Let me explain that one. So sometimes having an interesting view or a scene is really nice, makes for a nice pretty picture, um, but it lacks something to tie it all together. And that's where you bring in the human element. Um, so having a figure in your image can give you a great subject, it can anchor your image, it gives something for the viewer to be looking at, a focus rather than just sort of a nice scene, perhaps a street at night or a street in the daytime, an alleyway, um, architecture. If there's not a human element in there, it might not be quite as interesting, which can be made all the more interesting when you can't see any details of the figure. Maybe they're in profile or it's a silhouette, or even better if you can kind of capture an intriguing pose that gives the viewer something extra to think about a story to read into and then that might then create a mood that's really absorbing so i hope you like those five quick tips like i said at the beginning of the video these are things that i always look out for in my work um, it, i personally really enjoy looking at street photography that doesn't all spell it out for you i like images that are really mysterious that hold you in a way that you don't quite know what's going on and it makes you really study them and um, that's the kind of stuff that i like to create so yeah, hopefully this has given you some ideas for when you next go out with your camera. But until the next time, have a great day.